Hello and welcome to Car Dealer Live. My name is James Batchelor. Now, with more electric vehicles being sold in the new and used car markets, many dealers are searching for the best ways to remarket these vehicles. Joining me to speak more about the subject is Dr. Marcus Berger, CEO of Avilu. Hello, Marcus. Hello, James. Nice to meet you. Lovely to have you on, Marcus. Um, now, I've got lots to talk to you about. I mean, this is obviously a very, very a hot topic at the moment, particularly around batteries and uh, and remarketing, etc. But before I get into that, can you just give us an idea of uh, of who Avilu is, please? With pleasure, James. So Avilu is uh, the global leader in battery diagnostics for electric vehicles. Uh, the company has been established in 2018 based on the idea of providing an independent state of health test to the remarketing or after sales market of used EVs. So back then we had this uh, conviction that uh, once EVs will break through, which wasn't that clear back then, there will be a need for, for independent battery assessment uh, for buying or selling used EVs. And uh, yeah, thanks God, we, we were correct in that assumption and we developed the technology. We were the first on the market and, and we are now uh, happily providing our technology uh, yeah, to car dealers, leasing companies, defleeting companies, uh, everyone who is interested in battery diagnostics of used EVs. Mm, yeah. The company is yeah. actually based in Austria, in Vienna, and uh, yeah, and, and, and out of our headquarters in Vienna, we actually serve the whole world with our technology. Yeah. Yeah, there, there is a lot of talk in the industry at the moment about health certificates and, 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 and ways of of being able to um, identify which cars have got the healthiest batteries, et cetera, et cetera. How do you think health certificates can, can boost the adoption of, of new and used cars? Well, uh, I think um, uh, we all need to move from combustion engine cars to to EVs uh, for for obvious reasons, and uh, so we need uh, we need especially consumers to to trust in in this new technology, in better technology. Otherwise, uh, they will not buy uh, new EVs. And uh, in order for uh, OEMs to sell new EVs, uh, we need to have a properly functioning uh, used EV market, and that's uh, where our strength is. So uh, our products, our battery testing uh, technology uh, wants to help uh, creating a functioning used EV market, wants to prove that uh, most of the used EVs can still be uh, bought, uh, wants to prove the battery quality and take the fear uh, away from consumers that there might be an issue with the battery. And that's what we are up for hmm. um it's it's not just consumers obviously who are very interested in the health of of, of uh, a used evs battery but it's also the wider industry as well isn't it so so how do you think battery testing will benefit um different players such as car makers insurers uh, and of course consumers uh, it will benefit anyone who is who is in that market it will benefit car dealers, it will benefit leasing companies, it will benefit auction houses, defleeting companies. Uh, why? Because in the end, uh, the buyers of used EVs uh, are in a, let's say, powerful position. Uh, and if they are afraid uh, on battery quality, they will just be very hesitant taking a, a purchase decision. Uh, and then, you know, all the companies I, I, I named before will suffer yeah, because they will uh, either have uh, difficulties in selling the cars quickly enough or at the, at the price level they would expect to sell the car. So uh, it is in the end a consumer decision. They want to have proof that when they buy used EV that the battery is in good shape. But it's the obligations of, as I mentioned, of all these companies, car dealers, leasing companies, to prove the quality of the battery. So um, that's why we are working with yeah with a lot of car dealers, with a lot of leasing companies in Europe already, supporting them in remarketing their used EVs successfully, actually. Mm. Yes, yeah, so, I mean you know with petrol and diesel cars, ICE cars, you know um, dealers if they go to an auction house, they're able to 
get a, a report on on the quality of the engine and the mechanicals etc but with with evs that doesn't seem to have sort of really happened so far i mean do you think battery health certificates should be standardized across the industry that would be great of course yeah so you, you just mentioned the ice so that's a totally different thing to be honest we have a hundred years of experience you know we have uh, we have uh, a lot of know-how that it, and whatever car it might be with a hundred thousand kilometers or miles uh, of mileage and whatever three years of age has a specific price range uh, and and you practically know that you can sell it at that in, within that price range which is very narrow uh, with uh, used EVs things are totally different because age and mileage will not tell you anything useful about battery health. Uh, battery health depends on totally different things. For example, um, charging behavior or uh, driving behavior or uh, state of charge levels when you park your car, temperatures. Um, so, and those are all invisible influences of battery health. So you might have a, a car, an EV, with the same mileage and the same age and totally different um, battery condition. Uh, Marcus, I was quite interested to read um, news uh, recently of your cooperation with Hyundai, um, Cox Automotive through Mannheim Express, uh, Arvel, and there are a few others. Can you just tell us a little bit more about that, please? Yeah, sure, with pleasure. So uh, you mentioned Hyundai. I think they were one of the first uh, car manufacturers who understood the value of uh, providing independent battery certificates. Uh, and so now all the, uh, for now, German car dealers are in the position to use our technology uh, for their certified programs when selling um, used vehicles. And you know, every OEM has a specific uh, certified program. Uh, and now the available battery tests are part uh, of the uh, Hyundai um, certified uh, program, um, and which means um, the Hyundai is now in the position to prove the battery quality of every used EVs with our technology. Uh, and Hyundai is, by the way, not the only one. There are others now to follow. Similar, uh, you're talking about our cooperation with Arval, um, one of the largest European leasing companies. They are as, as well interested in, you know, selling quickly at the highest price they can achieve. So they are also using the Avilo battery test to prove the battery condition of the used EVs which they are marketing. So it always comes down actually to the same question. How can I quickly sell the EVs uh, that I have to sell at the highest achievable price? And there isn't a lot uh, to an EV uh, different than the, the battery. Uh, that's more or less the most valuable thing. And uh, any buyer needs to understand the state of health, I believe, before taking a acquisition of a used EV. Mm. Um, now, your flash test has been certified by CARA, hasn't it? I mean, how important was this it did. Uh, milestone? I think it helped a lot. I mean, CARA is a reputable organization in Europe. Uh, everyone knows it. And uh, we were very proud to be the first one to receive that uh, certification, which proves, again, to all our clients who are in the remarketing space that they can rely on our technology and that the flash test is a, is a proper tool to uh yeah to perform battery tests on their evs mm. um now, now you recently announced the introduction of of um benchmark analysis in the premium certificate and flash test report um how how will this contribute to um the development of the industry and and, and how will units be, uh, users benefit from it um i think it will play a major role and it will be a substantial improvement of uh, of our battery tests. So so far, we were able to give you an absolute figure, say whatever it might be, ninety percent state of health, um, which was already, I think, a, a groundbreaking change uh, for the remarketing market. But now, as we collected a lot of data, uh, we are also able to give you a, a relative assessment, which means what does this ninety percent mean? Is it good? Is it bad? Um, so we are going to compare uh, the result of one specific car against a peer group, 
uh, with cars of the same model, of the same age, of the same mileage, I'm going to tell you that's actually a good state of health. So you might even be able to charge a premium for that car or uh, it's more on average and, and you should price your car um, adequately. Well, um, there's some really interesting stuff there, Marcus, um, and I, I look forward to hearing a little bit more about it in the future. But for today, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much, James. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to talk to your audience and uh, have a great day. Pleasure. Uh, well, that's it for today's Car Dealer Live. Join us again very soon. Bye bye.